They share the same last name, the same bloodline, and now the same headlines after police say that an East Baltimore man murdered his cousin by pushing her down a flight of stairs. WMER 2 News' Jeff Hager has more on this story for us tonight. When police entered this house on North Curley Street for a report of an assault, they discovered 33-year-old Shanlet Lewis laying in a pool of blood inside her front door. She died from her injuries two days later, and now her cousin, 31-year-old Demetric Lewis, faces charges in her death. One of her family members, who did not wish to be identified, spoke to us of this double tragedy. She was a good spirit. She was a good person. She ain't deserve it. She ain't deserve it. I mean, little argument. This uh, is, is, is a big loss for the family. I mean, it's, it's two losses, a death and a life that's, that's thrown away. I mean, because he ain't think. According to charging documents, Lewis got into an argument with his cousin, threatened her, and then pushed her down the stairs to the basement, where she hit her head on the concrete floor. Allegedly, he then carried her upstairs, grabbed her by the shirt, and dragged her through the kitchen and living room, leaving her by the front door. He then fled from the home before police arrived, and two days later, she died from her injury. Demetric Lewis is now being held on a first and second degree murder charge, but his family isn't convinced that he meant to kill his cousin. It was just uh, a heated argument that, that one thing led to another and it went left. But I'm quite sure it was accidental. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I mean, he loved her just like she loved him. But I mean, you know, it's tough love out here. At the time of his cousin's death, Lewis was still facing charges dating back two years ago in Baltimore County after he allegedly got into a fight with a co-worker at the Edenwald Retirement Home and beat him severely, telling him during the assault, I am going to try to kill you. In East Baltimore, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.